Next we have bow rolls, and, and bow rolls basically have a curved center axle, and the amount of bow is dependent on each application, but bow rolls today are, are available in both adjustable and non-adjustable versions. Wrap angles around bow rolls should be less than 30 degrees, and the lead into the bow roll should be roughly double the lead out distance. I'm going to cover that in the next couple slides. You'll see what I'm talking about there. But basically, um, the the ins this is the inside of a of a bow roll here. Uh, you have a you have a rubber sleeve or you have a curved center axle, and then you have a uh, uh, on top of that curved center axle you have a, a, a basically a whole bunch of ball bearings mounted across across the uh, center axle's uh, face, and then on top of that you have a rubber sleeve. And when we talk about the amount of bow in a bow roll, we're talking about this dimension here, um, how much it's bent in towards the center. Now, the the bow roll's operating principle relies on the web relies on the web handling principle that a web will seek a 90 degree angle to a roll in its entry span to that roll. Basically, any point, any given point measured across the web, will try to maintain a 90 degree angle to the curved center line of the bow roll. And that's so this. The operating principle behind the bow roll relies is based on the on the web handling principle, and that's how it operates. Now, a couple of things to remember when using bow rolls: the almost all the spreading action takes place in the entry span to the roll. So all your spreading action is taking place taking place in this this distance right here. The unsupported web distance from the last fixed idler to the bow roll is where most of your spreading action is taking place. So the longer you can make this distance, the longer you can make the, in, the uh, entry span to the bow roll, the more spreading action you'll get. Also keep exit span to a minimum because when the web leaves the bow roll, oftentimes it'll try to neck back in and, and wrinkles can return. So this distance exit span should be very short. Now I've had people argue this point with me from time to time, but I'm going to just tell you my experience again from being on the road and from things that I've seen is most of the time when it appears bow rolls aren't operating properly for your application or if they're causing you more headaches than they're helping, it's because wrap angles are too great. In my opinion, wrap angles around bow rolls should almost never exceed 30 degrees. So in order for, op for bow rolls to operate properly, Try to keep your wrap angles to a minimum. <clears throat> Some advantages to bow rolls are they are an aggressive spreader. They're extremely versatile because you'll see bow rolls used with all types of uh, applications um, from uh, narrow web to, to wide web, high speed to slow speed. Um, they're used with uh, all types of webs from films to foils, uh, textiles, papers, non-wovens. Um, bow rolls are available with a lot of different sleeve compounds. If you had high heats, chemicals, ozone, um, adhesives, and they're really the only spreader roll that will separate slit widths evenly. Um, they won't mark or scratch your web surface because they have a, a, a rubber surface. Um, biggest disadvantage to bow rolls is the fact that they're bowed and that the, the uh, bow shape will deliver added tension to the center of your material, which can distort some webs. And they do require maintenance from time to time, and a lot of times that maintenance, um, usually the, bow, the roll needs to be sent back to the manufacturer to be maintained. It's very difficult to, uh, to, to fix bow rolls in the field. Um, and the rubber sleeve, that, that part of that maintenance is the rubber sleeve does need to be replaced periodically because it is dynamic. It, it is moving. Um, as it rotates, not only does it move uh, in the machine direction, but it also moves from side to side a bit. Next we have uh, bow bars, and, and bow bars are basically homemade devices. Uh, it's not really a, a spreader roll per se, but I, I just thought I'd cover them real quick because you do see them out there. Usually made of steel or aluminum, usually it's just made of steel or aluminum pipe, and they work on tension differential to spread the web, not the web handling principle. Wrap angles around uh, bow bars generally range between 15 to 90 degrees. Now, basically, again, bow bars are just a homemade device, usually a piece of pipe bent with a 
pipe bender and basically you're just introducing that into the web and as the web is flowing into the bow bar it will try to flow through the path of least resistance which is out towards the bar's ends because tension is lightest out here you do increase the tension in the center and tension is lightest out here so the web will try to uh, flow th through the path of least resistance which is out in this direction and it they do have a tendency to push wrinkles out towards each edge but it's not a roller so it it does not uh, because it's not in traction uh, the web is not in traction with it it is sliding around the circumference the web handling principle does not apply they're extremely easy to manufacture usually they're homemade devices um, they do have a smooth surface obviously very low maintenance bow bars do separate slit widths but not evenly so if you want even slit separation if you want the gap between each slit width to be the same you have to use bow rolls and they're used a lot with wovens and non-wovens and you'll see them sometimes with paper webs some disadvantages uh, they do increase tension in the center of your web which can distort some webs uh, really the amount of bow is is dependent on each application there's really no set formulas for determining how much bow how much to um, how much you have to bend that piece of pipe again it's a homemade device so you really determine how much you need to do how, how much bow you need through trial and error past experience and uh, even though the webs even though the the bar surface is smooth it does have to drag around the circumference so you can mark or scratch some webs and they do create drag